Today, we're going to be making some crab empanadas. Come on, let's get started. Todo queda sabroso. So today we're starting a new series on the empanada, which is popular throughout Latin America and the Caribbean, and it's done different ways depending on where you're at. Is there a difference between an empanada and pastelillo? Yeah, there is, but can't we just get along? As I was growing up, we call it pastelillos, but it's all part of the same family. And today we're starting off with a crab empanada. In many of the beaches in Puerto Rico, you will find food kiosks that will sell frituras, deep fried treats with popular fillings like crab. Now you can use whatever crab you have on hand. Many people will just go buy lump crab meat that they sell in a can. But my wife recently bought like 18 bags of frozen crab legs and we have some left over. So I'm going to use that. Let's start the filling. Adding some tomato and garlic. And we're going to add some fresh sofrito. Allow that to cook for a minute. We're going to add some crushed tomato, tomato sauce. As well as some sazon. Adobo. And some oregano. Then we're going to add our crab meat. And we have our seasoned crab meat filling. Okay, so when it comes to the dough, you can buy the prepackaged disc that they sell in the frozen food section. However, I'm going to show you how to make a homemade version that's super simple and easy. Okay, so in this bowl I have three and a half cups of flour. To that, I'm adding two teaspoons of baking powder, one teaspoon of kosher salt, one teaspoon of sazon. I have the Luisa brand, all organic. Then we're gonna give those dry ingredients a quick stir. To that, I'm going to add a quarter cup of vegetable shortening. You can also use butter. Then with a pastry cutter or with a fork, you're going to cut the shortening into that flour until it resembles like coarse crumbs. Okay, then I'm gonna add a slightly beaten egg and then mix that around. Then I'm gonna slowly add three quarters of a cup of ice water, ice cold water. And I'm doing a little bit at a time, feeling the dough as I go along. You're gonna mix it until the dough just comes together. It's still gonna look a little bit crumbly, but that's okay because we're going to knead it until it's nice and smooth. We're gonna sprinkle just a little bit of flour just so that it doesn't stick. Then we're going to knead that dough. And you wanna do this until you have a smooth ball. Wrap it and then refrigerate it for about half an hour. Okay, so I'm going to spread a little bit of flour so that my dough doesn't stick. A little bit of flour on top, as well as a rolling pin. And basically I'm just going to roll this out until it's about an eighth of an inch and then we'll cut the disc. Okay, so now that I have the dough stretched out to about eighth to a quarter of an inch, now I have this empanada cutter or this dumpling cutter uh, and I'm going to use the back of it, the base, to cut out the discs. One right here in the middle. And there we have our empanada discs. Then we're gonna take that disc and simply put it on a piece of either parchment paper or wax paper, and then layer it just like that, and then put it in the freezer until we're ready to use. Okay, so we have our empanada press. I'm gonna take the empanada disc. Just going to pull it to the teeth of the empanada press. Just like that. And we're going to take that crab mixture, put it right in the center. Then I'm going to take a little bit of water, just go around the edge, and then we'll just bring this together. Squeeze. Voila. 
Here we have our empanada. Look at that beauty. Oh yeah. Okay, so here I have my oil heated to 350 degrees. And I'm simply going to place an empanada and fry it until it's golden brown. And here we have our empanada. Look at that beauty. Let's break it open. Look at that. Beautiful crab meat. Oh, mama.